All right, guys. Today we're gonna do two different rubs. Uh, we're gonna start off with what I like to call, for me, it's a layering rub. It's uh, Bad Byron's. A lot of you guys have heard of it. Pretty popular out there. Uh, it's ranked in the top 100 on a uh, barbecue superstars. So that's Bad Byron's. We're gonna do that on one, and then on the other, we're gonna run and do my go-to. Um, all I need to do is a little layering. Now when I'm using this here, the Everglades, eh, if the camera wants to uh, adjust, well anyway, we know what it is. So that's the Everglades. Whenever I'm using that one, I like to put a small dash of this on there first. Um, gives it a little, I don't know, uh, it's its own type of flavor, let's say that. So got two butts here. Bring them on over. I do everything right in my sink. That way when I get done, I just wash it out and I'm, I'm finished. Now, I coat mine with peanut oil. That's my version of glue. So, let's get the peanut oil rubbed on good. I'm going to go ahead and do this other one over here too. Don't think y'all can see me. And these are just basic, not a competition or anything. Um, this right here is more or less just practice, I guess you would say. Just something to do. It gives me an opportunity to try new rubs, share info with you guys on ones that I like, and then go from there. So I wind up giving these away probably. Friends, family, whoever wants them. That's one thing I hate about this stupid Everglades one. That lid will not stay open. And when you hold it open, the spout's so big, a ton wants to come out. And when you want to go light, this makes it difficult. Now that we got the base on there, come back and get a little pan. You don't need a ton, just enough to make everything stick. Because you're going to come back with a second rub, and you kind of want the second rub to lay over the top, or lay over the first rub. Now, this I just filled up this morning. Now you guys are going to notice this stuff puts an amazing color on your food. I figure I might as well do uh, two rubs at a time. What do you guys think? There's no sense in finding up a smoker for just one bite, right? If you're going to do it. Might as well do it right. Now, I'm not doing the fat cap. I cook in pans, so uh, nothing's really going to hit that anyway. Well, depending on what smoker I'm using, I cook in pans, I should say. If I'm using the reverse flow, I, I cook in pans eventually, but I don't start that way. If I'm in the house and I'm just firing up a little pellet pooper, always less mess to clean. So I'm gonna throw this one in a pan, and we're gonna come back probably in about an hour, maybe two. Let it set up. Let you guys see what it's starting to do. So for now. Slide this one on out of the way. And let me rinse this out. That way we don't cross seasonings. Don't want bad byrons tasting like Everglades. 
or vice versa. Alright, now this bat barn is a little spicy. Um, if you taste it straight out of the container, once it cooks, it loses a lot of its heat. Not all of it, but a lot. But it's pretty good. This is one of the spicy ones that, that I actually do care for. And there's not many, I promise. You know, us being in South Carolina, there's not a, we like more of a, a tang than a spice. So, good, sweet, a little vinegar bite on your sauce. It's good eat, man. Pork butt's a real thick cut of meat. So you put as much rub on as you would like. I like to go heavy. I like a, a heavy crust myself. That char, bark, or wherever you're from, whatever you want to call it. So far, we've got your Everglades, and you have your bad buyer. So, you can pretty much see a, a, a good difference in them. And I will see you guys back in about an hour to show you how they're doing. Alright guys, now that everything's set for a little while, come out here, about to crank the pellet smoker up. Um, this right here, this is your Everglades. You see the red, man, how good the color is in this one. Really, really, really like it. And then we'll scoot up here. And this is your Byron's. You can tell it's more spice than anything. It's not really causing it to sweat too much like the Everglades did. But it's still going to turn out to be a good product. So now I'm going to get everything going. We'll check back on it in a little bit and uh, see what we got. All right, so it's about 7 o'clock in the morning, 5 till. I pulled these butts off at about 4 o'clock this morning. Um, I was going to come back to you last night, but when I went outside, it was just a little too dark, so there was no sense in even trying. But anyway, we're going to pull these off, check the color, take a taste, let you know what we think. Now this first one here, like I said, this is my go-to. This is the Everglades. And there it goes. So of course we pre-dust with this, then a good coat of this one, which is the regular rub. And let's see what we get out of it. is give me a little bite now I can't speak for everybody that crust that's my favorite part look at that mm. all right so on the Everglades nice smell of smoke of course, that's coming off of the pellet cooker. Ran it with uh, all hickory chips. Everglades is a, a real um, sweet flavor. It gives a good color from the paprika that's in it. Now, this pre-dust here, I don't know 
what the uh, it's not really a pre-dust it's, it's a everything seasoning but I use it as a pre-dust gives you a good almost like a green flavor um, I don't know I really don't know how to explain that one it's something that it's different it's definitely only known to Everglades but the sweetness stays little to no heat um, Everglades does make a heat dust or a heat rub that you can put on there um, more geared toward the pepper but again I'm not a hot fan so I don't use it but one of my favorites one of my go-to's you can see the color I mean it's perfect it's, <laughs> everything about it is money so definitely um, out of my top five rubs that I like personally that's probably my third favorite so anyway give you a little better close up there and then we're gonna move this one on and I'm gonna go get some bad Byron's Here we go, Bad Byron's. Not one of my favorites. Um, it's good, but this is more of something you would find at a, a local barbecue restaurant. Um, no sugar in it. I think that's what I don't like about it. But, good eats regardless. Say so it's not bad, just not, not my go. Ooh, I can smell the spice already. Now, this is the rub that we applied. Bad Byron's butt rub. And you can pick this stuff up about anywhere. Uh, everywhere from Lowe's to Academy Sports. I mean, you name it, it's out there. And ingredients on this one, salt, black pepper, granulated onion, garlic, paprika, chipotle, smoked jalapeno. Yeah, no type of sweetener at all. So again, this is more of your backyard style barbecue for a lot of people. And again, we're going to go straight to the Money Moss one. Look at that pork, guys. Look at that there. Well... Some reason they ain't want to focus. There we go. Look at that. Whew. Lord have mercy. Seven o'clock in the morning. Pulling straight off the butt. Hmm. First thing I get smacked in the mouth with a lot of garlic. A ton of garlic. The onions went kind of subtle. But you definitely gotta like garlic to like this one. And you definitely have to like a little heat. If you taste this one straight out of the out of the uh, shaker, it, it's really spicy. But again, this is one of the ones that, that cooks down. And the heat level drops tremendously. Um, still a very good rub. There's no sweetness to it. So whenever you sauce this one or something, if you do like a sweeter rub, as I do, you might want to put an extra sweet sauce to it. Something with a lot of brown sugar. Uh, not really the vinegary type base. Cause you're gonna want something to kind of counterbalance that heat and make it good for everybody. You know, a lot of people out there aren't gonna like the heat and a lot of people are gonna love it. So it's gonna be kind of a hit or miss. Um, Definitely one if you if you're in it for more of the, the spicy barbecue the backyard style Definitely something for you to try Now I'll Show you this Everglades one more time Now that one there Is something I recommend to everybody um, Not really any heat again, but definitely a savory flavor 
and the rub is extra sweet really good product so that's going to be our first two and we will get ready to start two more later on this afternoon all right guys see you later